What's up, Internetpreneurs? John Collins Palmer from OnlineLibertyLifestyle.com. Been a little while since I've spoken with you all. Uh, I apologize for that. Sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes you get a little bit down. Sometimes you just don't do the things that you ought to do, the things you say you're going to do. But that's all right because today I'm going to talk to you about my top two favorite finance books, um, ones that have really helped me uh, rectify my mindset about money and um, really helped me understand uh, what money is and how that plays in owning your own business. So the first is actually the Bible. Um, you know, it makes sense if the Bible is supposed to be this manual, this guide for life. It needs to talk about the thing, the one thing that represents power, authority, and success. You know, the one thing that makes the world go round, the one thing that um, is at the root of every single economic structure in the world. And it actually does talk about money quite a bit. Eleven of the 39 parables that Jesus told are purely about money. And uh, what I love about the Bible is that it's taught me that money is very neutral. A lot of people get the verse uh, 1 Timothy 6.10 wrong. You know, they think it says money is the root of all evil, but that's not what it says. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, whilst, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. You know, if you're responsible with a little bit of money, you're going to be responsible with a lot of money. Okay? It's, it's a very neutral thing. It's just paper. You know, in some cases, nowadays, it's not even paper. It's just digits on a screen. It's just digital currency is what it is. So money just reveals who you are as a person. It reveals what your mind is like, what your heart is like, and it reveals who you are. You know, money doesn't affect you. Money just reveals who you are. Um, and that's really, really something to keep in mind, you know. Um, so... So yeah, and I guess the other book that I really like um, that really kind of ties in with this theme of really defining money and how it affects people is uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You know, once you read that book, you really start to understand uh, how businesses work, what people's mindsets are like. Are they going to be an employee? Are they going to own a business? Are they going to be investors? What are they going to do with their money? Are they going to replicate it? And uh, once they do, once they are successful in, in replicating, multiplying their profits, are they going to um, help people, help other people achieve their dreams? Are they going to actually um, help other people or are they just going to hoard that money? Are they going to hoard that knowledge of how to replicate success? Okay, so not in... Robert Kiyosaki discusses... Um, this principle of tithing, you know, giving to your church, giving to the poor, which is 10%. Um, and I love the way that he says it. I don't think he says it in Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I think he says it in one of his other books. He's written like 30 books. I think the book that he wrote it from, or wrote it in, was uh, Boost Your Financial IQ or something like that. But he says that, you know, God is your best business partner because he only expects, you know, the 10%. He lets you keep 90%. It's not 50-50. It's, you know, 10-90. And, which is awesome because really, like, all the money is his anyway. And, <laughs> you know, you're lucky to get 1%. But it gives you 90 anyway. So, that's, of course, a paraphrase. But, you know, Robert Kiyosaki says that himself. He believes it. And he's one of the most successful entrepreneurs, uh, that's ever been out there. You know, Rich Dad Poor Dad is incredibly inspirational. It's foundational for anyone wanting to start their own business and get that right mindset. And I think the book just celebrated its 20th anniversary. So it's awesome. Um, you know, I, I really do think that, you know, rich people became, came, uh, became rich because uh, they do have integrity. You know, not every entrepreneur has integrity. And unfortunately, you know, a lot of movies out there will kind of highlight, you know, scummy entrepreneurs, whether it's Ray Kroc or Mark Zuckerberg in um, that movie, The Social Network. You know, yes, some successful entrepreneurs are scummy <laughs> and, you know, step over people, but not all of them. And I don't get that sense about my mentor, 
uh, Matt Lloyd, I don't get that sense from Robert Kiyosaki, and I don't get that sense from most entrepreneurs that I've met. So, yeah, the Bible and Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I think, are some of my favorite books about finance, and um, they've really imprinted themselves on my heart and my mind. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to remain more consistent with these videos, and um, see you guys next time. Bye.